Uh, definitely. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a surreal moment. It didn't really feel like we played, you know, seven overtimes in my mind. It was just trying to win the game. So I wasn't, I tell a lot of people, I wasn't really tired. You know, I wasn't, I was just ready for the game to end. You know, I thought we ended a couple times. You know, it kept going, didn't go our way in the end, but uh, it was a hard fought game. Yeah, because it's funny you say that because Texas A&M's quarterback said you guys were cramping. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't cramping, I know that. <laughs> You were involved in one of the more controversial plays, obviously, being yeah. over. Um, yeah, I definitely caught the ball. I thought the game was over, you know, slid, took a knee and everything. Uh, his knee was down, so, you know, I just turned around, uh, tried to come make a play. You know, I think I, uh, in my opinion, I thought I caused that fumble in the overtime. Um, didn't go our way, so we just got to, you know, turn our head and play the next play. Uh, you know, just preparing. We do a lot of we do a lot of preparation stuff. You know, we do like last plays. You know, hail mary, just all the um, you know weird things that can happen in the game. Just make sure we prepare for them. So, uh, you know, definitely a two point play, play is going to come in. You know, it's going to come in effect. Is that have you felt like that's like kind of translated to on the field when you guys are in the red zone? Yeah, uh, definitely. It's a good it's a good period. It definitely prepares us. You know, for that situation. Uh, you know, knowing what calls we might have, you know, knowing what we might see, so definitely so. Back on the field today, I mean, what does it kind of feel like to be back, and you know, how important maybe is it for you to take practice this week to make sure that you're, I guess, back to as close to 100% as possible? Yeah. Where are you at now? Uh, you know, I felt pretty good today. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say you know exactly 100%, but I was getting there. I think by the end of the week I should be at 100%. But um. You know, I felt good getting back out there. You know, it's tough, you know, losing reps, uh, you know, missing practices. You know, I hate it. You know, I hate being away, but I try to rest it last week and then see how it feels, you know, the rest of the week. You guys have played a, a lot of true freshmen in the secondary this year. What's that been like, uh, you know, having so many young guys out there? Um, it's been, you know, kind of scary sometimes, but, you know, the guys stepped up to the plate. You know, they do their job. You know, Mo had a great game you know, this weekend. You know, I had to, you know, just talk to him before the game, just try to calm his nerves down. And now, uh, you know, the first play, he got him a tackle. So, you know, all the nerves went out the window right there. But, uh, you know, guys like Flott and, uh, you know, Sting, um, even when Jay Ward comes in the game, you know, they got to step up big. Uh, they play big time. You wouldn't know their freshman out there. I was going to uh, yeah. ask you about did you talk to Mo before when he came mm -hmm. in and was starting? And mm -hmm. just what was his uh, interview? Yeah, just, uh, you know, during the week when he found out, you know, you now I wasn't playing. Uh, just as far as, like, going and watching extra film, uh, you know, picture him himself in you know, certain situations. You know, I'm mad at him. He got he should have got a pick. Uh, you know, we got it fixed right after that. You know, play. You know, you know he played pretty well. Got you know freshman of the week. So, you know, no, very very proud of him. After last year's loss to Texas A&M and how devastating that was for you, mm -hmm. how do you think if you did play in this weekend, it's going to be personal for you? Like, how are you going to feel about it? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big game. It's an SEC game. Um, you know, even when you know they hadn't beat us in all those years, uh, it was still a still a big game. You know, they're in the SEC for a reason. So, uh, you know, spirits might be a little higher because of what happened last year, but not, we're not thinking about it like that. You know, it's another game for us, chance to go 12 and 0. You know, have a perfect regular season. So, you know, that's big time in our books. How much thought have you given in the draft adjustment that led to you know, your last game in Tiger Stadium mm -hmm. as a player? I mean, have you thought about that and mm -hmm. make a mistake on memory? Uh, you know, definitely. You know, I thought about it. Um, but, you know, as far as that goes, you know, just, I go out every every game, you know, like playing like it's my last. Uh, you know, it's going to be a special memory, you know, Tiger Stadium. But, um, you know, I haven't made a decision or nothing like that yet. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go out there and play like it's my last. And, you know, hopefully we got a good, good win.